Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and we are here for Family Feud Yarn Edition. I was tagged yesterday by Ray from Ray's Yarn Addiction. Hi, Ray. And um, if you haven't checked her out, she just today put up a video of her awesome Hobie winnings. She won from the um, the live event on Facebook, the Facebook Live, two weeks ago, I think. Maybe it was three. Anyway, it was pretty recently. They sent her stuff. It's awesome. It's awesome. She's so lucky. Um, but anyway, let us hop right in. So we've got, it looks like, nine questions here. I think I'm supposed to answer them family feud style. Like, first thing that pops into my head. And let's see what if you guys agree. I don't know. So number one. Something you hate to find in your yarn. Hair. <laughs> if I'm working it up and there's a hair and I'm like, that's not mine. That did not come from my household. That icks me out. I don't mind the hay, the straw, anything like that that you might find in wools. Because I mean, it came from a sheep. <laughs> Sheep's rolling hay and all that kind of straw, I guess. But yeah, that's no fun. Something you do for your significant other when they buy you yarn. Well, if you saw the video last night that we posted, and I think the last time he bought me yarn too, I do it. Um, I collect yarn and fibery thingies, fabric, all that kind of stuff. Brian is very into, um, he calls them smelly liquids, um, colognes, perfumes, eau de parfum and all those fancy words. Um, so he's been collecting a lot of that recently. Um, he also does woodworking. He likes video games and like um, uh, board games. So sometimes in the past I would have gotten him like a new video game or something. But he's got this pass on the Xbox now where you get like access to those library games for free. So I really haven't bought him much recently, but I am digressing. Family feud style. Something you snack on while crocheting or knitting. I don't snack while I crochet or knit. It's actually a way I use to keep my hands busy so I don't snack. So there you go. Um, an item found in your yarn bag. Lotion. I always have to have lotion to keep the hands and digits happy for their work. Um, something you drink while crocheting or knitting. Um, I tend to drink four things. Coffee, tea, water. Uh, sometimes I add crystal light to the water. And Diet Coke. I know it's bad. I know, I know, I know. I like the fizzies. I'm sorry. I do. Um, but I am trying to quit. So I've cut down drastically on the Diet Coke. And I'm hoping to taper it to zero and move on. Uh, what do I watch while crocheting or knitting? Disney Plus. I got three and five year olds. I, I do not watch anything adult until after they go to bed. And even then, it's, it's rare we turn on the TV. <laughs> um, oh, I've lost my place. Something you watch. Name a sport you love to watch or play. I am not a sporting type, so I tend to watch whatever Brian's watching. Um, and some I watch more loosely than others. He loves basketball. He's a big fan of the Golden State Warriors. I, I don't enjoy watching the game. So I'll normally just be off on the side working on something. Um, I do like watching uh, Formula One with him. So go Ricardo! He's such a happy guy. I like Ricardo. Um, I forget what team he's on now. <laughs> he changed recently and it looks like, according to Brian, if the scuttlebutt is true, he might be moving again. Um, hopefully not out. I hope he stays. He seems like a good guy. Uh, name a fruit that isn't round. Banana. I mean, I guess it's round if you slice it, like into little discs, but it's oblong. <laughs> um... Name something you crochet or knit for Christmas or the holiday you celebrate. Um, everything. 
Um, last year I did a ton of hats um, as presents. Last year was the first year I had crocheted any gifts and I found a really nice hat pattern off of Pinterest and I believe, oh I wonder if I can find it again. I should share that. It was a good hat. Um, it was reversible so it looked a little different depending on which side you had out. Um, it looked good with or without a palm. So yeah, I cranked out a number of those. Um, I also often do slippers, which is the very first thing when I learned to knit that my grandmother taught me, and she taught me orally. So I don't know where she learned it or where it came from, but that's the pattern you've seen us kind of, or heard us talking about a pattern I'm trying to write up and do a tutorial on. That's what I'm trying to do, my grandma's. First slippers that she taught me, the very first thing I learned to knit. So I can whip up a pair of those in about an hour, hour 15 tops. So those are a nice gift and they're cozy, people like them. And that is the final question. So now I have to tag people to send the game on into the YouTube streets and realms. So number one, Sweet Bee Sid's inspiration. I wanna, I challenge you to the Family Feud Yarn Edition. And secondly, Kelly Creates, I'm going to challenge you to the Family Feud Yarn Edition. And number three, I always like to pick somebody that I have not yet shouted out on the channel for these things. So I am going to pick Melanie Titus. Um, I think it's Melanie Titus, a.k.a. Lothalia's Little Hook. I think it's Little Hook. I just wrote down Lothalia. <laughs> but after you said Garden State Joe calls you um, Lethal Yacht, that's all I can see when I see that name is Lethal. <laughs> but anyway, if you're not a member of Melanie's family, go check her out. She's super sweet, super talented, and I love her to pieces. She's so kind, so, so sweet. She supports so many other channels since she started putting up her own videos. So please go check her out. And Melanie, Family Feud. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I will see you tomorrow with my weekly roundup. Show you what I've got up to this week. Okay, bye-bye. My clicker. Bye-bye.